Okay, we're gonna show you how to set up your new rollator you received today. First, you'll start by opening the box. Once you get your box open, you'll, you'll see all the contents in there. Come wrapped in plastic to help protect your rollator. Unwrap it. If you take a hold of one side, you see it just folds out like so. It makes it a little easier to work with. These are your handle grips, again, wrapped in plastic. You'll see on each handle grip, there's already a, a little wing nut screw and a screw in here. What we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew this. You have a little black washer here, you don't wanna lose this. So we'll pull that off. You can see there's multiple different height settings here. So, where you want it set for your height is you want, when you're standing straight up, you want the handle to go right here on your wrist, okay? That would be the proper adjusted height for, for each individual. You slide this down until the holes match up and you can see on this side, you have a hexagon. That's where the nut, or the, where the screw goes in. That'll sit in there so it locks in like so. On your other side, you take this little black washer you had, stick it on like so. And twist that down, making sure that you get it hand tight, okay? That side is in. Again, making sure that you get that down tight so there's no movement. The seat, you have your basket underneath, the seat goes up and down. The last piece you're putting on is your little back brace bar. You take it out of the, out of the box, you'll see two little push pins. There's one here and one on this side. They set in these two spots right here. Just push down, push down on those, those slide in. Make sure you hear that click. Same thing on both sides. That's clicked into place. Now your walker's ready to go. If you need to adjust it, you would just simply unscrew this. You still have your five adjustments up and down for height. And this is uh, how to fold your roll later. So when you're taking it in your car with you, going to the store, um, you want to fold it up so it fits better. If you just pull up right here, squeeze in right here, this will fold up, okay? If you need a little more room, these will pop out. Again, just pushing in on those little black buttons. That'll pop out and give you a little more room if you got a tight back seat. Otherwise, you're just folding up, just like so. And here's another way that you can fold your walker. You got this little black strap that's attached down here. If you just fold up, that will fold that up just like so. And then when you're ready to unfold it, if you grab your brakes and pull up on your brakes to lock it so it doesn't roll away from you, it will roll out just like so. Put your seat down and you're ready to go. As you're using your walker, this is your hand brakes. If you pull up on it, you'll see this brakes down here. That's locked now. Now that wheel's not sliding, okay? Anytime that you are sitting down in the walker or preparing to get up, if you push down on these, 
that locks the brakes so it can't roll around. Any, so you want to make sure anytime you're getting up or sitting down on this that you lock those brakes like that so that the walker doesn't roll away from you. When you get back up, when you're ready to go, simply pull up and your walker's ready to go.